Gamers, today we're solving the game. We're making the How to Counter Jean d'Arc, a three video series. I'm gonna cover basically every civilization. I have decided to make three different guys on how to counter Jean d'Arc because I'm assuming we're not going to get a patch for a while since it's a Christmas break and all that. So I figured why not make guys basically for every Civ playstyle. Now I have split this into aggro civs, castle rush civs and boom civs. Now the reason I've split them this way and you might look and see Ottoman in castle rush civ and be like what? Ottoman is not castle rush civ. But against Jean d'Arc, that's how you should be playing these civs, okay? So in general, whenever you're you're playing your games, uh, you know, aggro civs are usually going to be French, Rus, Mongols, English, and Delhi. Then you have the Castle Rush civs that have very good success against Jean d'Arc. Uh, by playing that way, it's H3, Japanese, Ayubid, OTD, and Ottoman. And then Boom Civs, Chinese, Slash Avacid, Jushi's Legacy, and Malians. Now, I did split them like this just for the sake of like being easier to make videos for. Uh, but if you're playing an aggressive, that doesn't mean you have to all in Jean d'Arc. You can still go to TC, and I'm going to show you right now for the aggressives, which are fresh French, Rus, Mongol, uh, English, and Delhi. And the uh, games I'm going to be showing you are going to be me playing English versus uh, Jean d'Arc, me playing French, and me playing Rus. So I don't, I won't have a game for every single matchup, but hopefully you will get the idea of what you're supposed to do and what your goals are. So we're going to start with a Rus, which is uh, probably, okay, let me, let me actually go back to this. The biggest counters to Jean d'Arc, in my opinion, oh yeah, Byzantines I would probably still put in... Uh, uh, in Castle Rush Sims, by the way, because I've had success with Byzantines winning with Castle Rushes and some units. So, the biggest counters to Jean d'Arc, again, in my opinion, are going to be Sims like Rus, Sims like uh, English, I think are pretty, pretty decent. Ayubids is a great civilization. Um, I think HRE or OOTD are also pretty decent against them. The two biggest counters, or three biggest counters, I would probably say against Jean d'Arc would be Rus, Ottoman, and Ayubid. Uh, and I'm going to talk more about those when we get to those videos, but for now we're covering uh, uh, the aggressives. And I would say if you're one of the aggressive boy, play Rus or English if you're struggling against Jean d'Arc. So why Rus? Uh, Rus, the reason why it's one of the best civs against Jean d'Arc is because of the... Uh, three fucking scouts and uh, basically because you you're playing Rus and you want to make extra scouts and kill animals around the map basically what happens is um, by the time Jean d'Arc levels up you already kill all the wolves on the map preferably and um, you force Jean d'Arc to also go for a second scout which slows down her age up a little bit but once you kill all the wolves she has way 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 less experience to work with now, another reason why Rus can be great against Jean d'Arc is because of knights. So, uh, one of the better counters against Jean d'Arc in general are going to be civs that have knights because they can quickly pick her off if she's out on the map. Now, how do you want to play against Jean d'Arc with one of the, as, as like an aggro player or one of the more aggro civ? Number one rule against Jean d'Arc, no matter what civ you're playing against, don't feed her experience. I've said this so many times and people always say it's easier said than done. It's really not that hard. Just don't fight her. Okay. And I'm going to show you some of the ways you avoid fighting her and some of the ways you can fight, but you need to know when to fight in order to kill her so she doesn't get any XP. So if you make knights or make horsemen with whatever sieve, you can potentially hunt her down with, um, you know, while she's trying to kill the boar or something and trying to get a quick kill on her. Um, but this game specifically, I'm going to be showing you the two, t two, two town center. And not only Rus and not only one of these aggro sieves, but a lot of the sieves can do this. Uh, you just need to know uh, how to play defensively and not take bad engagements, aka avoid fighting at all times. So. Um, if you're having like defensive landmarks such as uh, Kremlin or uh, Barbican, you need to place it well so that Jean d'Arc and, and her knights cannot approach you there at all. 
So for example, here I went for a pretty far away Kremlin. I went for a Kremlin all the way over here. Why? Because I get two goals. I cover the back of my base. I kind of semi cover these resources and I get a wood line. So I don't need to make Kremlin on this side because then this whole side would be exposed. So uh, this Kremlin is going to give me a lot of value, make my gold unharassable. And in this game, the variation of the stuff that I'm showing you is two town centers uh, into fast castle build. So I'm going to get my stone. I do take some damage, which just shows like even if you take some damage, it's all right. Uh, you know, it happens sometimes. I try to do uh, some walling here so the knights can run in, but he just ran in with the knights and I lost, I think, two or three villagers, which was not ideal, but it is what it is. It happens, right? So... TC goes down, I pull gremlins, and I lose three workers, I think. Which, again, is pretty big. He does lose two knights, and he does lose these two scouts, but I do lose three workers. So, it is what it is. Now, and the reason why the worker count is equal is because he had to make a scout out of his TC. And because uh, Jean d'Arc, once she transforms, obviously he loses a villager there. So... I've got my second TC, and again, this can work for any Civ, but yeah, Rus is a very easy one because of Kremlin, because of killing wolves and all that. So what is my goal right now? Well, now I just want to age up. And why is it important to age up to castle against Jean d'Arc? Uh, the worst thing you can do against Jean d'Arc, the absolute worst, worst thing to do is to fight her in feudal, prolonged feudal. Now, I'm not saying you can't fight her and snipe her and, and you know run around and harass i'm saying like if i get into this game and it's a 20 minute game and we're both just massing units in feudal that's gonna be a loss i will be losing that game even if i trade better because eventually she will level up and i'm gonna lose everything to the hero so you want to avoid at all costs giving her level three at age two you need to be age three before that happens so you can make crossbows and actually kill her so I'm going to be aging up here. Now, in this game, Sassy... Uh, by the way, shout out to Sassy for helping me with these games. Now, he went for triple TC. Why did he go for triple TC? Well, if he stays one TC, he, you cannot really attack Roos. Like, th there's nowhere for him to attack. Um, food is safe. Gold is safe. This is safe. This is safe under TC. So there's nothing for him to attack. So he just went with plus one TC of, from what I have and tried to out macro. But obviously, the goal of Jean d'Arc not leveling has been achieved. So if you set up your base properly, no matter what Civ you play, you can force these situations where the opponent can't do anything. So they either have to age up, or they have to take really bad fights, or they have to go to TC themselves. That's where you want to put yourself in. The last thing you want to do is stay in one TC, not secure your gold, not go for castle, not go for two TC, and then just spam units. That is not going to work, okay? Unless you're specific civs, which we'll talk about a little bit later. So, I'm going to age up. He's building a third TC. I'm already aging up. So what is my goal now? My goal is to take the relics, not let Jean d'Arc get free XP and make crossbows. Crossbows are a must-have against Jean d'Arc. If you're playing against Jean d'Arc, you need to make crossbows no matter what city you're playing, because that is the only way you can actually kill her without getting blasted to death. So technically, you can kill her with knights once she's level 3, but that's going to take a very long time. Um, obviously, with horsemen, you're not going to kill a level 3 Jean, and archers aren't going to work. Spearmen can work, but if she gets a couple of good uh, Q abilities off, you're going to basically lose all your spearmen. So crossbows are a must against Jean d'Arc. So right now I'm making some knights because I'm going to be making crossbows later. So making some knights just to harass, just to force her to stay back in her, in her base so she cannot attack me and level so I can get the relics. So I'm creating some space for myself, okay? So as you can see right now it is what is it 12 minutes into the game and Jean d'Arc is halfway to the level up. So I'm just running around I'm going to harass with these units. I'm going to be picking up relics all over the map. I'm just going to speed up because we're not here to cast the game. I'm just to give you here to give you my opinion in general about how to avoid her. Like a demon she is. 
So again, more run bys here, more harassment, and this this is probably not what your games look like because usually you're the one defending against her. But like I said, there are ways to do this where she is the one that's forced to defend or forced in awkward situations. So soon she's going to be level uh, three. Or actually, no, she's, she doesn't even level to level three. I'm capturing all the sacred sites. I'm transitioning to crossbows. I got a bunch of gold. I'm getting my upgrades. And the longer the game goes, Jean d'Arc is not necessarily bad in Imperial, by the way, or like late castle, but there are better, better civilizations. And as long as you set yourself up economically, it doesn't matter if you have a better or worse suit in the late game, uh, you can always pull off the win. So now he's trying to wall, he's trying to prevent the raids. Um, but you can see that, you know, he's losing more and more units, getting stuff picked off. Jean Dark is right here. I even get a pick off here for a second, he doesn't pay attention, gets popped. And now I'm doing a big attack. And once Jean d'Arc does not get that momentum and that value, it's very easy to just lose the game right after. Because, I've said this before, the greatest thing about Jean d'Arc and the greatest weakness is the fact that so much power is in the hero. So if your hero is underdeveloped, aka not uh, level 3 by now or not level 4 in like 10 minutes, you are behind. Um, you cannot just macro and be completely fine. You need the hero in order to do well with Jean d'Arc. So now my units get in. She gets one shot by the crossbows, by the way. 14 crossbows, just one shotter. And Jean d'Arc is still level 2 with a little bit to go. But even if she got level 3, at this point I have enough counter units to be able to defeat her. So now I just run in and get the W. Now, like I said, Rus is probably one of the easiest civs to do this with. Uh, simply because of the Kremlin, second TC, uh, ability to age up pretty quickly, and, um, you know, just having knights and just the way that civ works. So, that was Rus. Now let's do another one. I'm going to show you French versus Jean d'Arc. Now, French is not the best civ against Jean d'Arc necessarily. It's not like it counters it. But I just wanted to show you guys um, how to approach this matchup from French point of view. And I did two games with French. I did one game where I go 2TC and one game I go 1TC. And I liked going 1TC with French against JD specifically. Because I felt like I was out of food with 2TC. So, what is my goal here? Um, how am I suppo supposed to approach this? So, whenever you play against Jean d'Arc, you need to think, what does your Civ have against uh jean d'arc like what is what can i use to my advantage so the one thing you can use to your advantage is if you're one tc and jean d'arc is one tc you will have more villagers so there's actually no need for you to go to tc because on one tc you have better economy right now she can uh use consecration to reduce the cost of her stuff and uh, you know the, the units and stuff but more villagers will still be better so one good thing about French against Jean d'Arc is the fact that units you'll be making are knights, which are hard to kill. So unless you like run into spears or something, Jean d'Arc is going to have a hard time picking off your units and you can be the aggressor in this matchup. Now, why is it harder for Jean d'Arc to be aggressive in this matchup? The reason for that is French eco is better. So in theory, you should have more knights. Once you have more knights, the opponent is forced to go into Spearman. So Jean d'Arc should be going Spearman into this matchup. I would advise you to not go Spearman. If you go Spearman, you're both making same units and you will simply, even if you trade, you're going to give her XP and you're going to lose the game. So what is your goal as French? Your goal as French to continuously make knights, maybe even from two stables, continuously make knights and eventually try to age up upgrade your knights and then get into crossbows um and by then hopefully you've built some kind of villager lead so you can transition later into the game now i haven't played french in a while so this game was nothing close to perfect from my side but i just want to show you the general idea so i'm getting my wheelbarrow i'm getting school of cavalry i'm getting a knight and one important thing to note is when you're playing aggressives like this and you're playing a knight sim specifically try to keep track of her hero try to keep track of where she's going to kill the the boar for xp 
And one thing I forgot to say, even if you're not Rus, try to um, kill wolves once you finish scouting the map. Try to kill every single wolf that you can see so that you deny her experience. So right now I'm keeping my scout here. I want to know where she's going. And now I go back and I see that she's not back in her base anymore. So I'm like, okay, she probably went up because there's a boar there. So I immediately send everything up there. And now it becomes a little bit of a risk for him to go for the boar. So you guys to kind of chill. But these are the situations you want to force. Like we're trading, we're fighting. I don't want to lose units. But I want to keep Jean d'Arc away from the boar. I actually think I could have probably just committed to Jean d'Arc here and killed her. But I didn't because I think two knights would have killed her by the time this knight managed to help. And once you kill Jean d'Arc this early, the game should be pretty much over. Because uh, her abilities don't recharge while she's dead. And spending 250 gold at this point is a crap ton of gold. So... Um... In general, you want to just try to deny her XP. He has the back gold with a tower, so I couldn't really harass there. So you can try go around mass knights and kind of play it like French versus French, except you also have an extra target of, of it being a hero. And in general, the way you want to play it is like I said, French versus French, where you want to make knights, you want to harass, and eventually when your opponent goes out on the map to get sh to get deer or berries, that's when you can start doing damage to the enemy. I went with the early tower, I got the boar, so I denied the boar, I denied most of the wolves, and he got the boar on the top. But the main point stands, he is not leveling. So I go around here to try to harass, but he had a tower, so I wasn't able to do much. And I even take damage here, I lose two villagers. And one thing I did is I got chivalry pretty fast, I would say, after seven knights. And the reason I got chivalry is because I want to make sure that my knights are not dying, right? I don't want to give her experience, that's the whole point. So now that he is going into uh, Spearman, in my opinion, this is probably the time where uh, I should perhaps make an archer range. Um, or just try to go castle. So why is that? If he kept making uh, knights, I could just mass knights of my own. Again, I will have better economy. I will have more villagers so that I can, you know, just have more knights and win the battle that way. But because he's going spearmen, he is slowing down. So he's becoming more immobile with his units. So I could have gone archers and then defended, uh, uh, you know, points of, of my base like this. Where I can load up in tower and then just target fire Jean d'Arc. Or uh, I can just age up and choose to basically skip this feudal fiasco. And then get to the point that I was talking about. Where you want to be at where you have crossbows. So in this game I'm trying to do some harassment. I'm trying to do damage wherever I can. And eventually I'm going to just speed up here. Eventually I will be aging up. And now you can see because he went spearman suddenly he has... Um, he has less knights, and once the opponent has less knights, oh yeah, I harassed uh, the boar at the top with one knight because he was going for the boar. Once the opponent has less knight, just like in French versus French, the enemy loses the map control. And at that point, you can have stuff like this where he had like eight spearmen here and Jean d'Arc. And the moment I saw that, at the moment I saw his knights were out of position, AK, they were not here, I just went for it. So that's something that you need to try abuse and use as much as you can if you go Spearman. So let's say he had his Spearman here and he reacted in time. I could have just run past and gone into here, then gone into the wood line and gone into here. I have chivalry so my knights will heal up. And uh, you can kind of cause a lot of idle time and just buy yourself time. But he gets caught here off guard. I kill two Spearmen I think. I lose a knight. But more importantly, Jean d'Arc goes down. Which is very, very nice. And yeah, he can buy her back, but that's 250 gold. And if she dies again, uh, I don't know if you guys know, but the uh, purchasing back of Jean d'Arc has 120 second cooldown. So if I were to kill her again, he can buy her back again. And that would be pretty, pretty bad. Um, I killed two more spearmen. I should have maybe engaged this, actually. I have 13 knights here. Uh, but you can see, like, some damage is now being done. And I think this... this should have been a perfect uh, angle to go for castle right here. And that's what I'm doing right now. 
while trying to still harass. And again, we're 12 minutes into the game. I'm gonna check the XP. He is about 60% in. So the game is going good. She's not getting fed XP. I didn't lose a lot of units. Uh, so it's working out great. And again, because he has less knights, I can do stuff like this and I can bully him as much as I want and I can just run away. So right now I'm aging up with the guild hall. Now, if you're in a position where you think you can maybe win, you can go for Royal Institute and get um, biology. But I felt like I can just play a normal little game here and go from there. Now, my units were out of position. Uh, if my units were closer, this wouldn't have happened. So my units were, I went all the way around and he engages here and I do end up losing a few workers. You can always target fire your towers on Jean d'Arc, remember that? So that you can do a lot of damage to her. I'm trying to defend now with the veteran royal knights. And my crossbows are now arriving. The tower has been blasting at Jean d'Arc the whole time. And now she goes down again. So, I think the cooldown for purchasing here is back. Yeah, it is back, but he's trying to um, he's trying to age up. But at the same time, you want to buy her back. Why? As Jean d'Arc. Because I'm, I'm about to fight. I'm about to force a fight. We're about to trade units. So he wants Jean d'Arc for the levels, right? For the XP. But because he bought her back, now he's very far away from castle. So now he's in this awkward situation where he's got too much food but no gold. And meanwhile, I've kind of reached my goal of castle. And now the game becomes a lot easier for me. Because I can make actual counters to her, which are the super strong knights and crossbows. So, I'm going to just speed this up right now. Uh, you can see I'm six workers ahead. Jean d'Arc reached level uh, three. But now I have crossbows, like I said. I'm also getting the relic, just like in the Roost matchup. Um... Uh, so everything is going well, and now he is aging up himself. Now I go for second TC because uh, I felt pretty safe. And this is something you can do with any castle rush save if you're rushing castle. Uh, if you get to castle and you're feeling pretty safe, you can add a second TC just to get their worker count up. Um, I'm still doing the harassment. I kill the villagers on top. And right now I have 16 villagers killed, 57 versus 42, so I'm in a great, great position. Um, and now Jean d'Arc, look at that charge on her, half health HP. Her Q ability, if you have knights, doesn't do that much damage, it does 35 damage, right? And my knights um, have 230 health, so now her AoE is not that impactful. And at this point, all I gotta do, like I knew I was ahead, so all I gotta do is just not take some massive damage, not take bad trades, and I'll be in a good spot. My uh, guild hall is on food, so I'll be able to get the food out in a second and then build Red Palace, which at that point I am unharassable because of the um, Arboletria uh, emplacement on your TCs and keeps. I make the Red Palace in the middle to block out the gold. I have keep here to reduce the cost of all my units because I'm playing French. And now, if you look, 110 supply, 110 supply versus 107. It looks the same, it looks similar, but this game is extremely over. Why is it over? Well, I have berries here, I have a farm transition going, I still have a little bit of deer happening. Uh, I have the control of the middle, I'm going for imperial upgrades. Meanwhile, he is nowhere close to Imperial. His unit comp is Spearmen, which are not going to scale well into the late game. Crossbows will scale much better. Jean d'Arc did not do much in this game either. Did not get a lot of value. I have five relics out of Sacred Site. So, and he has no farm transitions. He's got two farms. So this game is pretty, pretty much over. And like I said, it's cool that his units are discounted and all that. But your age up still costs the same and you can't really... Um, you can't really get a cheaper age up, you know. So now what you can do is just target fire Jean d'Arc. Um, whenever you can with your crossbows and try to, you know, try to sniper that way. And, um, yeah, the villager count increases for me because I have 2 TC. He has 2 TC, but I produce faster. Reminder, I produce a villager every 16 seconds. And uh, yeah, now he's gonna age up with Red Palace. We have a little fight here. 
have a cannon already. And if you look now, target fire on Jean Dark. I think I target fire. Look at that. Two taps, and she's out. Right. So again, even if I don't win this fight, JD is now level three, and he's we're both Imperial, so she is under level. Like if I had another 10-15 crossbows with the uh, with incendiary arrows, she'd get one shot. Now he buys her back. She costs 500 gold now, and at this point, I think he spent 1,250 gold, right, buying her back, which is quite a lot. And he just decides to tap out because, like I said, the game is pretty, pretty much over. Now, the third game I'm going to show you is with English. And by the way, the reason why I showed uh, English, French, and Rus is out of this list that I have here. These are, I, I, I would say. English, French, and Rus are probably the most played civs, so if I'm making a guide to help people, I feel like I should probably make it for civs that are played the most. But if you're playing Mongols or Delhi, you can use similar logic that we're using here in order to, to beat Jean d'Arc, right? So now I'm going to show you an English game, me playing against Louis. Now this game, I messed up quite a bit, but I still managed to win. So it just kind of shows that even if you, you know, fuck up, it happens, just keep going. And you'll get there now what is my goal with english now english is an interesting one right the previous two civs had knights delhi has ghazi raiders mongols has kashiks now english obviously does not you have a king but it's you know kek w so what is the goal here english is actually i wouldn't say it's a top three counter to jean d'arc but it's a very very good civ against jean d'arc uh and the reason it's a good civ is you have pro one of the best units to deny her XP in battles, which is Longbow. So not only English can fight her in Feudal, um, you know, pretty well, but you can actually kill Jean d'Arc in Feudal, even though in general it always say just avoid fighting her, avoid fighting her. With English, you can fight her, but you need to know when to fight her. So. I'm gonna do a standard English build. I think I have a guide for this on YouTube. Um, I'm doing a little wall so the knights don't run in. I'm getting my wheelbarrow. I'm gonna get double broad axe as well up and going. I'm gonna get a couple of longbows. So what is my goal with English? Now, uh, I wouldn't suggest going to town center with English because Jean d'Arc can rush castle and then mess you up in different ways. I would suggest do the good old 1TC build with English. And I know I've said you don't want to do this, but English is one of those civs that doesn't play by the rules, right? So my goal here is to get eco upgrades first, then get blacksmith upgrades, then start producing spearmen and longbow, and then just push out. So with proper defense, not against JD only, but against any Civ, the opponent won't be able to do anything. So right now he has hero uh, right on the map over here. He's killed two boars, which is a good amount of XP. I can't deny that with English. But he's got four or five knights, and there's nothing he can do. He can't attack here. I have the, uh, what are they called? Uh, palings. I have a lot of longbows. I'm just chilling. And I'm chilling until my economy kicks in, until my upgrades start working. We're just chilling. I kill off a scout. I'm gonna wall off this side to make sure there's no run buys from the top side. And now I'm gonna force my opponent to fight me. I'm not trying to attack him just for the sake of attacking him. I want to force him to fight my army. Why? Because if I engage with this army, th this three spears and fourteen longbows, I can kill Jean d'Arc in two volleys and she loses all the, or she doesn't get any XP. Which is kind of the point. And why English is pretty decent into Jean d'Arc as well. So, he's gonna, he's trying to avoid the fights. He's trying to make me go back and defend because he doesn't want to fight. So, what was his plan? So, um, someone, some people might wonder why didn't he make any archers? Um, if you, you can go for archers with Jean d'Arc, but his plan was to either catch me off guard or overwhelm my units, force a trade, and then just get a insta level three with his hero. But because I was always careful with my units, I never let him get a good engagement until later on when I fucked up. And then his hero did hit level three. So if you look now, uh, the eco count is the same. I have tripled the army, 
and the upgrades i even have better eco upgrades uh and military upgrades i'm about to have better too so nine months progress we have a baby now kappa so basically what's happening is jean d'arc's eco is not the greatest she will not you know have more units than you she will not have more economy than you the strength is in the hero uh so here we go i start pushing out and he doesn't pay attention for one second and hero gets clapped like that and now he has to purchase her back which again, similar to the game against Sassy, now he has to delay his age up because the hero died. I managed to pick off a couple of villagers, and at this point, this game should be over. This game should be donezo, okay? But I, he, he does some good moves, and I make my mistakes, and the game goes on, and you'll see what I mean. So, he's trying to pick off whatever he can. I'm still forcing the idle time, and... Um, He's just running around. I'm running around. Now, this army right here that I sent should have gone back here and killed all these villagers. And that would have been game over. But instead, I kind of have this like... I'm trying to force fight on his army. Because in my head, I was like, oh, this is GG. This game is over. But he catches my army of guard here. Um, forces me to kind of recollect a little bit. And I do a little ram. I do manage to find these, but only with a few units, so I don't get to kill many. He goes to Royal Institute. And I pick off a few more units. Cancel the Royal Institute. And again, like I said, this should have been it, right? This should have been 100% it. Tapped out. Now, what I can do here, I knew he's going to age up. So what I should have, could have done is just gone back. You know, he's going to finish that age up. So I should have just gone back and I should have just not forced the fight right here. Because the the only way for me to lose right now is if I somehow lose all my units. Oh yeah, this is where it happens. So this is where it happens. And this is what I like to call feeding her XP for nothing. So she is about 70% done and I just miss rallied my units. I'm trying to pick her off but I don't have enough. And what ends up happening is she is about to level up. So why is this a problem? Well, if you remember what I was talking about earlier, this is a problem because she is uh, she's about to be level 3 and I am still in feudal. Now, if I was aged up and she got level 3, who cares, right? But the fact that I was still in feudal and she's about to age up was pretty bad. Right now, what I should have done is I should have gone home and aged up because I'm about to age up. I could have even built White Tower, which would probably have been even a better idea. Just White Tower right here and call it a day. GG. But I made a serious series of mistakes, right? I got my army caught here. I didn't really continue pushing. He was still gathering like resources randomly in the map, even on my side of the map. And the biggest mistake of them all is I stayed out on the map for too, too long. Now she's level 3. And look at that damage. And now he's knights, by the way. Uh, the funny part in all this is she's not the problem in this one. It's the knights that have 310 health because he went Royal Institute Biology. So his knights are so, so tanky that my spearmen actually get demolished by the knights. Now I'm running back. I age up. And again, if this was a white tower right here, the game is over. He can't push into it. But I went to King's Palace for some reason. I was giga greedy. And every time she approaches to do a Q, I just start attacking her, even with the shit longbows. So that she, you know, is out of the fight. I don't want to fight with her. So again, she's not doing anything, right? This whole game. People might be like, oh my gosh, Jean Dark is still about to win, even though uh, he lost 22 villagers. She literally didn't do anything. I think she landed one Q here on like 10 spearmen, and that's it. It's been nice that are farming me, right? So, I managed to clean up. I lost some villagers because I was a greedy goblin. But from here on out, I already did way too much damage. The game goes on and, um, you know, I end up building up an army and I end up winning because, to be fair, he is, he is very, very far behind right now, so... I'm just gonna speed up so you guys see how the game ended, but yeah. I'm gonna show you how the fights go. 
And basically my unit comp was just spearman crossbow and later on I add some men at arms just so they can tank a little bit more damage. So you can see here he goes for the engagement. You can just target fire her with crossbows. And she also gets biology by the way. Which I, I didn't even know. She does have biology, right? Or am I crazy? She's got hot 600 health now. That's sick. Uh, that's why she's Omega Tanky. So... That's why like so many crows were shooting and her health is not moving because she had a lot more health than the previous games that I played. So again, this game would be easy peasy and obviously Louis is a, is a very good player. I think Louis is probably like a top 5-6 player right now in the world. So he's not like a, you know, a guy who doesn't know how to play Jean d'Arc. He plays Jean d'Arc a lot as well, so he's a pumper. And now simply my eco is too too strong, so now I can just move out. And you can see he's trying to pick off units. But every time we engage, I always try to pick up Jean d'Arc. Uh, another tip that I can give you guys, no matter what Civ you play. So let's say you have all these units, right? And you're on A move. Just grab like 5-6 spears and right click on Jean d'Arc so they chase her. Because she will always try to run away from ranged units. But if she runs, let's say from here to here to avoid crossbow fire, the 5-6 spearmen still chasing her is really really good and if they get a charge off on her and they do a lot of damage she might just like end up dying so that's something that i would always suggest to you guys so i think right now is when i click like few spearmen on her specifically let's see oh right here so these guys Look, these guys are right clicked on her and you can see it creates a lot of problems for her to get in, in the back line for crossbows and it creates a lot of problems for her to actually engage and do anything. And the moment she goes in, I insta target fire with crossbows and she goes down. So what did we learn today? Number one, avoid fighting. Number two, you can't pick her off if you're a night sieve or if she's overextended out on the map. Number three. If you have some kind of defensive building like Kremlin, you can use that to your advantage to get a second TC and then get a fast age up so you can get access to uh, uh, crossbows or spearman crossbow comp or knight crossbow comp, whatever you prefer. If if I'm playing a strong cavalry sieve, I'll go knight's crossbow. If you play English, you can go spearman crossbow. Um, that's up to you. And then there are some sieves where you can fight her in feudal and those sieves can be French. Uh, those sieves can be, uh, I mean, even Rus, you can play English, obviously, you just need enough longbows to kill her. So I'm going to be making two more videos. One video is going to be me showing you guys how to play with Castle Rush. And again, you can Castle Rush with a lot of the sieves. So this is not, I'm not saying that every time you're playing against JD with one of these, you should fight her. You can also do a passive like 10 longbow and then age up with English to castle, right? And then you just continue playing uh, just as normal. So you can do castle rushing with a lot of these sieves and just avoid fighting her. And you can do 2TC with a lot of these sieves. Now, I would say that not all the sieves can be fighting her in feudal. I would say that some sieves are a lot better for them than the others. Like Malian can fight her in feudal, I think, because of Jalen throwers and Donzos. You can kind of just one-shot her with those, which is always funny. Uh, I would say uh, a French to an extent can fight her, a Rus can to an extent can fight her, English can fight her as well. Uh, Mongol can kind of, uh, English can just straight up fight her. Uh, Mongol can kind of harass into faster age up, and then HRE Japanese um, Ayubid OTD. Uh, Ottoman and Biz, I would probably say your best chance is to just safely age up. When I say safely age up, I don't mean go castle with zero units. I mean like make a tower, a couple of spearmen and get that age up. So this is it for the how to play against Jean d'Arc with aggressive sieves and aggressive play styles. Uh, the next one I'll be doing, I'm not sure, probably either boom sieves where I'm going to show you how to do 2TC with 
uh, de-civilization or in Malian case how to cow boom and then we'll do a video how to castle rush against uh, Jeanne d'Arc and completely avoid fighting her and then go into castle knights or you know man at arms or crossbows and kind of continue the game uh, from there. So what I'm hoping with these three videos we get the Jeanne d'Arc win rate plummeted. If you're watching this on YouTube, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little video. I hope you learned something new. And I hope you go out there and beat Jean Dark 24-7 and get them free points. If you're watching on Twitch, let's keep going.